everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So for today's video I am filming my long way to town beauty haul because I've had this package for about a week now and I've been waiting to show you everything that I got. I couldn't resist opening it so I'm afraid it's not an unboxing so I got too excited but I'm very, very excited to show you what I bought. Note there was quite a lot of excited there so, you know, um, a lot of these products, well, everything by a three things is all Halloween because I am planning on doing some Halloween makeup looks. I had to get my mum to order the SFX Makeup Revolution face paint special effects palette off the Superdrug website because I stupidly didn't buy it off Town Beauty and Superdrug won't accept my card. Please tell me why Superdrug. Um, so my mum's got it for me and I'm giving her the money but I'm so excited to get that so once I've got that Keep your eyes peeled on my channel for some makeup looks, Halloween themed, because I'm so excited to do them. So yeah, without further ado, without any more rambling, because I'm the queen of that, let's get into this haul. What was my hand doing? This is the package. Tan Beauty have changed their like wrapping, if that makes sense. Um, they used to have all the branding saying Tan Beauty, Makeup Revolution, Freedom, and all the brands they stock on their website. So I don't know what happened, and everything was bubble wrapped. They were bubble wrapped sat bubble wrapped separately actually but obviously I ripped into it like a child at Christmas so let's get on. So I bought a bundle of three Halloween SFX products Um, this was on offer for £5 it's from Makeup Revolution actually I think everything in this haul is Makeup Revolution except two things which I Heart Makeup which is a sister brand of Makeup Revolution so tomato tomato um, so yeah, this bundle contains both a ghost whitener, brighten and whiten your complexion, liquid latex, which I'm going to be honest is the most exciting thing for me, it says easy to make warts, wrinkles and torn skin, peels off easily, simple to use, which those two statements, peels off easily and simple to use is crucial for me because I am more than likely going to muck it up, so when I get the SFX palette I'm going to be experimenting before I actually sit down and film a video, but I've got some really cool ideas that I want to try and do, so yes. Got that, and then of course I got the fake blood, which I think is really awesome. It's just this very realistic fake blood, and I went onto the Makeup Revolution YouTube channel and I looked at Makeup by Tammy's tutorial, and this all looked amazing. So yeah, I'm really happy I picked them up. I also picked up the Makeup Revolution Ghost Powder. It's got a really cute ghost imprinted on it, and I guess the overall effect of this is to make you look more white and to mattify you down, so it actually stays on. Especially if you're going on a night out with your Halloween makeup, you don't want it to sweat off. So yeah just a powder really this is one of the things i'm also most excited to try and it is the ghost lights vivid baked highlighter i also saw makeup by tammy use this in the makeup revolution halloween look and it's very iridescent it's got like iridescent blue and pink shimmers to it so i'm very excited to use it i don't think iridescent shows much like on camera but you can definitely see it in the pan so i'm very interested to give this a shot second to last halloween product i got is the ghost sculpt and it's got the white shade, which I'm not too sure what that's for, so if you know, let me know in the comments. But it's got the sculpt shade, which looks black, but it's actually a really cool grey, hollowy, sort of ashy shade, which you use to obviously contour and just make yourself look a lot more dead. And I just think the concept of this is amazing. The span, can we just know how big this is? This is literally the size of my hand. Um, and it really reminds me of their Skin Kiss highlighters. So, yes, I'm very, very, very interested in trying this because it could either go really well or really wrong so now I might sound like a wimp but prepare yourself because I think this packaging is so awesome but also really scary Are you ready I don't know just looking at it through the my phone and through this it's just it just gives me the creeps but the packaging is really cool to be fair it's very Halloween if I could ever create a look like that I definitely would but this is the dark rain 16 eyeshadow palette 8 shimmer and 8 matte now the color representation on the back for once is pretty much on point um which I think is amazing and I know I got rid of my old Halloween palette but that's because I really couldn't use any of the shades because I was just in a bit of a hype but this palette classic sleek black packaging so up my alley the name film cheap applicator that i will not keep so you've got your one row of mattes and your one row of shimmers i really like these neutral shades and also these brighter colors i think i could try and work with so yeah i think they're really nice and once again saw makeup by tammy 
use this in her um, makeup look for the Makeup Revolution YouTube channel. And I actually bought this before I saw that makeup look. Um, but these are insanely pigmented from what I saw. So, and that doesn't surprise me because Makeup Revolution formulations of their eyeshadows and their highlighters is incredible. So I'm definitely excited to put this on my eyes. Finally, onto the things that aren't Halloween. I'm not sure if this is limited edition or not. It is in my local Superdrug on the iHeart makeup counter, but I don't know. I think it's limited edition. Don't count me on that. But it's the Dragon's Heart highlighter for face and eyes and I love the packaging. I saw it on Sophie Disnell's YouTube channel and on her Instagram and the packaging just jumped out at me. It's just it's just gorgeous. And then the colours look like this. If you can tell, I'm really pale. I've bronzed up my face quite a bit, so if I don't look pale on my face, just look at my neck. It gives it all away. But I would definitely have to use this for my eyes. Individually, in the individual shades aren't actually that pigmented, I will be honest with you. But when you mix them all together, which I think is the whole point that makes them more pigmented, as I said, I'm not an expert, so I don't really know. But when I swatched them all together, they were insanely pigmented. I'll show you. Like, you get the iridescent shots. Like, you can't really see it properly, but you've got the middle part of um, the ready tones and things. And it does sort of mess it up. But as I said, I love the formulation of I Heart Makeup Products and Makeup Revolution. Just honestly, they're incredible. And I love the Goddess of Faith highlighter from their boxed products range. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I know you can't really see it on camera, but honestly, in real life, it's really nice and shimmery and gold. And yeah, I'm definitely going to give this a good go. And I know this might sound bad, but even if I don't get on with it that well, the packaging is stunning and it's limited edition. So if you didn't know already, I'm a bit of a makeup chunky. So this suffices my needs. My heart makeup product is this, and this is the Peach and Glow Highlighting Illuminating Duo. I don't know really what you call it. The packaging is so cute. I definitely would say that about their sort of like chocolate bar um, designed products. And the packaging, as I said, come on now. The colours are really nice. I love how it morphs from the pink to the white. It's the gradient and the, oh, it just is really cute. And also very travel friendly. If you do a lot of travelling, protective sheath thing. This is what you have inside. Now, if you didn't know already, I am a highlight holic i love highlighters so you get your illuminating highlighter and your like illuminating blush slash, slash highlighter i'm not too sure but i would definitely be getting a lot of use out of this shade because i've swatched both of them and this one is more pigmented than this one but nonetheless they're both stunning products i think this retails for six pounds and i'm definitely interested in trying their golden bar sculpt and glow kit it's um, like the Golden Bar eyeshadow palette, but it's got a bronzer slash sculpting shade and a highlighter, which I have swatched and is also stunning. So yeah, this retails for about six, seven pounds. And as I said, the quality of these products is insane. I cannot rave about these brands enough. Honestly, they are incredible for the price point. The last thing in this haul is the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter. I already own one of these. I've got Liquid Champagne, which I've actually got on today, which makes my, eye my eyeshadow, which makes my highlighter pop like please um and i managed to get my hands on liquid starlight my local super drug did have liquid starlight but all the wrappers have been ripped off and then they didn't have any in the drawers so i was like yeah okay i'm not gonna buy one that's been opened obviously for hygiene reasons um so i picked it up off tan beauty this retails for six pounds and as i said liquid champagne is intensely pigmented a little goes a long way so this bad boy is gonna last you a hell of a long time it's got a pipette sort of applicator. I applied a little bit to my hands of liquid champagne and it was already too much. Like it is incredible. For six pounds, you get 18 ml of product and you're sorted. If you want one liquid highlighter, these are a good option. They're so cheap and that's what baffles me, how cheap these are, but how good they are. Like I know cheaper brands do have their hits and misses. I'm sure there are hits and misses in Makeup Revolution and I'm sure I'll come across them one day. But at the moment, Makeup Revolution is honestly one of my favourite ever makeup brands, ever. When I say ever, I mean ever, and that's a bold statement for me. I would even choose some of their products over my higher end products I've got in my makeup collection. And I am more of a cheaper makeup buyer, if that makes sense. Don't get me wrong, I love treating myself to higher makeup. However, drugstore makeup is my favourite thing. Going into Superdrug is one of my favourite things to do, which might make me sound so sad, 
but I really don't care. If it makes me happy, I'll do it. And I just love looking around the makeup counters and I'm really branching out into different brands as well. But Makeup Revolution is definitely one of the brands I head to first and just go a bit crazy because all their launches are so amazing. They're all so different and innov innov innovative 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 i don't know i'm trying to sound cool and use long words it doesn't really suit me um but yeah so honestly try these out look at makeup revolution if you haven't already try out their products because honestly you will find some staples i can promise you i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already people have been asking me how i've been creating this makeup look and if you'd like to see it let me know in the comments because obviously if you want to see how i created this makeup look then i will be more than happy to show you I'm no professional, but I just do my makeup how I like it, and I seem to get people going, it looks alright, Lily. So I'm like, thank you. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!